you guys for joining me today at the Left Lane Reviews. Right now, I'm at Rochester Volkswagen looking at the 2019 lineup Volkswagen has to offer. The original 1983 Mark I Volkswagen Rabbit sported red plaid seats, snowflake wheels, and a golf ball shift knob. It helped create the brand that Volkswagen now promotes highly today called the GTI. Now for 2019, the Rabbit is back as a special edition model. The Rabbit edition is primarily an appearance package, but it comes with 18-inch black wheels, black mirror caps, and a black spoiler. You do also get forward collision warning system with low speed automatic front braking, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. Push button start, adaptive LED headlights. Is up 8 horsepower from last year, making the total 228 and 258 pound feet of torque. There is a new 7 speed dual clutch with a 6 speed manual also still available. Now for your track needs, the Rabbit is equipped with a mechanical torque sensing limited slip differential and Golf R brakes. It also has this beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with red stitching. That can also be seen in the floor mats and the seats. Now coming to the speedometer, it is not the digital dash which Volkswagen's offers, but it does have the updated infotainment system. That does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then the infotainment system wrapped in this nice piano glossy black is very quick to collect dust and fingerprints. Then looking closer at the steering wheel you'll see the paddle shifters on the back but look at that beautiful design within the Volkswagen symbol and then your audio control. It has a 6 inch infotainment system but an optional 8 inch is available. It looks like the normal Volkswagen layout. That is very easy to use and an optional Fender sound system is available. The dash is then covered in a hard touch plastic. This vehicle does have four driving modes, eco, normal, sport, and individual. It does not have a dual climate zone but heated mirrors. Then in the back seat, you'll see that it almost has a little bit of lip overhanging, but these seats do not fold flat down. Right now, I'm sitting in the back of the Rabbit, and I can tell you there is plenty of headroom, and the back seats, like the front, actually hug you really well. The driver's seat is still in the position that it was placed in, and there is plenty of knee room for taller drivers, passengers. Now stepping inside the showroom is the Autobahn scene right here. This is the top trim level where the Rabbit sits between the S and the SE. It is powered by the same engine and has the same transmission options. This vehicle is also equipped with adaptive LED headlights, rear traffic cross alert, blind spot monitoring, and forward collision warning, and a rear backup camera. Stepping into the Autobahn, the red stitching continues on the leather seats and the steering wheel. But still no digital dash. GTI specific pedals with floor mats that also say GTI in red. You receive the same steering wheel as seen in the Rabbit but with the exception of a couple new buttons. There is also optional rain sensing wipers. There is a 9 speaker Fender audio system and lane keeping assist. Then again you have this very nice leather wrapped steering wheel with the very cool pattern and the GTI name at the bottom. It has DDC adaptive dampening control which includes adjustable shock absorbers and a larger rear anti-roll bar. It has the 8 inch car net infotainment system. Not the best visibility though when looking out the back. Very sporty seats that hug you extremely well when thrown into corners. Has an okay amount of legroom for a hot hatch. A panoramic sunroof that opens up very, very wide and gives you an excellent open airy feel. And 18-inch wheels. The GLI was first introduced in 1984 and has been revamped for the 2019 year. 
It features the same engine in the GTI, 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Starting price for the GLI S with a 6-speed manual goes for around $27,000 and around $28,000 for the dual clutch. The GLI sits 0.6 inches lower than the standard Jetta and complemented by a blacked out honeycomb grille, LED lighting all around, a fine diffuser and dual chrome exhaust tips. This vehicle is also equipped with forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, rear camera and rear cross track. Traffic alert. It also has the GLI badge in red like the GTI. And on the trunk are a duck bill spoiler. Now stepping into the GLI, there is a six-speed manual option. This is the 35-year anniversary package. Pedals just like in the GTI. A trim that almost looks like fake carbon fiber, but with nice leather all around, and then an eight, and then with a 6.5-inch screen. This also has the beautiful steering wheel like in the GTI with the amazing pattern. In the rear seats, visibly you can see a lot more room and physically there is a lot more room. Do not hug you like the rabbits. This has the new seven speed dual clutch and then an eight inch screen is available on the Autobahn package. 35 anniversary also comes with DDC, dynamic chassis control and adaptive dampening system is standard. Here's it in black if white is not your style. But if you are looking for the range topping one, there is the Autobahn package that will come with the 10.2 inch digital dash, ventilated front seats, and an upgrade 400 watt Beats audio sound system with a panoramic sunroof. Now you're going to want to buy this vehicle if you want a sporty, comfortable, good looking, tech packed vehicle that's not going to break the bank. With a 6-year and 72,000-mile warranty, you can't go wrong with the GLI.